I just recorded a video that I am afraid to watch wrestling. Boys and girls, I'm not gonna lie when I say I'm afraid to watch wrestling right now. And I decided to not edit it. I'm gonna edit it after I watch SmackDown. Maybe something will pop up and then... Hell yes! <laughs> Pete Dunne returned. I know that Pete Dunne was always there by the name of Budge, but this is actually huge. I wanted Pete Dunne to be Pete Dunne for the longest time. Probably you can go back and you can watch my old videos and all that stuff, but I'm a huge Pete Dunne fan. Actually, his match with Tyler Bate and Pretty Deadly, this is the first match I watched bell to bell for like months now. It was amazing, it was fantastic. I just mentioned in the last video that I'm afraid that I'm gonna get disappointment and I'm not sure if I'm afraid of disappointment or just because I'm pretty sure that it's gonna happen something. For example, I'm gonna give you a good example. Today is Saturday morning. Last night there was a Smackdown and I'm kind of afraid to watch it mainly because I'm afraid that I'm gonna waste hour and a half of my life watching nothing. Let's face it, next week is the Royal Rumble. What can the show offer besides face-off between Randy Orton, AJ Styles, LA Knight and Roman Reigns? Another face-off between Logan Paul and Kevin Owens? Another face-off, face-off... What, what can the show offer? that I'm gonna see some things that uh, were said on Twitter or something like that. But last SmackDown was pretty good in general and the return of Pete Dunne was the top of it and it can't get any better than that. He returned, he returned his old team music, he returned his intensity, he returned his style, he everything that Pete Dunne was, he returned it. Like Triple H said, this is his character, his thing that put him on the map. I'm really happy that he's back with it. And one last thing, as addition to that, if they can return the trio team of the mustache uh, stable that was going on, it would be great. But that's too much to ask for. I'm just too happy for that. Also, the segment around Roman Reigns was not bad as well. Like, I really like Nick Aldis as well. I really like the fact that whenever Paul Heyman said, Roman Reigns does not accept the fact that it's gonna be a fatal four-way match, and Nick Aldis was like, so at the Royal Rumble, it's gonna be a triple threat match for the vacant Universal Championship, and I really like that addition. Nick Aldis is doing great. Roman Reigns is doing great. Paul Heyman is doing great. Solo, surprisingly, is doing great. I'm not sure about Jimmy Uso, but we are gonna see. I'm really hyped now to watch what's gonna happen at the Rumble. Let's see what's gonna happen after a few days on Raw, and we will see in general what is going on. But in general, the last SmackDown was cool, but my position is still the same. I'm still a little bit afraid to watch wrestling because I'm not sure what to expect anymore. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just how I feel. And with that being said, I'm just not gonna upload the, the video that I have recorded a few hours ago and I'm just gonna keep it in a positive field, in a positive way, because I'm really happy that Pete done returned his old gimmick and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'm gonna see you when i see you soon peace